Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel where one of the few things I talk about is how to build custom software using no code platforms like Glide apps. Today I'm going to introduce you to a customer order management portal that I have built using Glide pages. The idea of this template is to have a single platform for your customers to view your product catalog, place orders with your company and track the status of their orders. This template is ideal for both B2B as well as B2C customers. As always, I have used the new project starter template as a starting point for this template. A link to the free copy of the new project starter template is in the description below. This template uses the dynamic shopping cart creation logic that you all have loved. So let's jump in to see the features of this template. Now, when you first open up the customer order management portal, if you have not logged in, you will see a high level view of this customer order management portal template. You will see what this template is about. You will find some quick information about me. You will find a template walkthrough video and you will find some mockups of the template. So when you click on any of these images below, the hero image here will show you that particular image in a larger view. So now without further ado, let's try and see how a customer can place an order on this particular portal. So I'm going to view this template now as a customer. Now when a customer first logs into the platform, they will see the home page where they can browse all the inventory items. A special thanks to Glide's inventory template, which helped me with some data about some items that I could use for this particular template. So as a customer, I can select any item, select the quantity that I need and click on submit. I can pick more items. And as you can see, as I started to add items to my cart, my cart tab started showing up at the top. Let me add a, one more item. Let me add 10 quantities of this particular item. Cool. Now at any point in time, I can go back to my cart and see the items that I've added in my cart. Now as a customer, you can set your default shipping address as well as billing address in your profile. And when you do that, I have added the logic to add the default shipping address and billing address to the card details. You can always change these addresses here, by the way. So I'll quickly see what items I have in my cart. I can update the item quantity to say six. I can also remove an item from my cart. Here it says that there are a total of eight items in this order and the total order value is 1994. Now as a B2B customer, I can upload a purchase order if it's applicable. Once I click on submit order, I'm going to be taken again to the home screen where I can place more orders. Now as a customer, I can come to my profile and see the past history of the orders that I have placed with this business. Let's pick one of these orders and see what information I have available. So in the past, I have placed this one particular order with the business, the shipping address, the billing address is mentioned here. I have a link to the purchase order. I also have a link to the invoice that I can view and download. I can see what items were part of this particular order, go back and carry on with my business. Here, when I click on edit my profile, I can change the shipping address as well as the billing address for my business. Now, as a staff member of the company, here's what I can do. I can view this app now as staff member number one. And now for me, the default home screen is the orders tab where I can see orders from all the customers in one place. So I can click on the order detail and see the constituent items 
that are part of that particular order. I can add special discounts for each order, for each item in the order, and give the customers a reason to rejoice, right? I can, once this is finalized, I can change the order status. I can say this is packed. I can come back at a high level. I can edit the order details here. As a business, I can upload the invoice that is applicable for this particular order and mark this as shipped or delivered, whichever is relevant. As soon as I change the status of that particular order, it moved to a different group, which is what is expected. This portal dynamically creates orders or shopping carts, as you call it, when you start adding items to your cart. Once you have all the items in your cart, you can place that order and that order will then be sent to the staff for further processing. I hope you enjoyed watching this demo. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. If you need help with your Glide apps, link to my expert profile and my Calendly booking page are mentioned in the video description below. If you would like to purchase my templates, a link to a collection of all my Glide apps templates is also mentioned in the video description below. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.